It was very interesting getting to meet uh, these new young Arabs that I haven't met before, these new young people who had similar stories and, you know, to try and bring it all together to make a short film for SBS, I thought that would be great. I've always had an interest in, in acting. It was my earliest dream just to be in a movie and so this, this came close. <laughs> Smart and beautiful. What more could I have? But when I married, the university will mean not so much to you. Half a step in. We are here to make sure that your stories get told and to make sure that they get told in a, in a kind of good way. I do think that the essence of this project is to find out what it's like to be a young Arab person in Bankstown in 2003. And how we do that is we go through a process of teasing out stories and then we entrust those stories to a person to develop it. This process is more important than the film we make. What you're feeling and the thoughts that come up to your, you know, to your mind today is more important than the film that people will see. I grew up most of my life thinking that I was an Aussie, not an Arab, you know, until the last God, you know, whatever eight, nine years of my life that I've really started to accept to, you know, accept the fact that I am an Arab and start to try and, and further that, you know. Who are you? Just run through it in your head. Who is this person that you have now become? Hi, I'm Matus. I'm 19 years old. I go to university studying journalism. I'm Australian because you know, I was born here, but my background is Lebanese. My parents are Lebanese and Muslim. And, but no matter what religion or culture you are, it's all good with me. Uh, yeah, that's me. Is that good? Who is this person? What do you know about them? What's the worst thing that's happened to them? What is it that they really want that they haven't got yet? I'm Julia Kanaan, I'm 19, and I'm Lebanese Australian. Well, I study in a Bachelor of Arts and, you know, like a lot of people, I don't really know what I want to do, but I've always had an interest in writing and creative writing. I'm sort of juggling the expectation to get married and to have a family and to finish my degree. No, 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 no. I you can't. Need to trust me. Why can't you right? get it through your head? I can't be with you, all right? Well, I love you. My name is Susan Chama and I'm 23 and I have Lebanese background and I'm Muslim. <laughs> I think that was all right. I go to university, I study environmental management, and um, that's about, about my... Oh, and I also like to write and do rap, and I do a lot of poetry and script writing. Yeah. I can't believe this shit! Hey, you can't hear me back, Are you right? straight in? You were there to do that? Hey, I'm talking now, you don't talk over me, I think it's both there. Since when do you talk over me? My name is Nomasi. I'm a Palestinian that was born in Lebanon and raised in the United States of Australia. Um, I'm a Bankstown boy. When it comes down to my religious background, I think that is absolutely irrelevant. My life, I drive a truck all day. Um, I'm like a courier, so I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of customers and a lot of these customers are Australian or mainly racist people. And I, I'm not just saying that because I'm a lab, that's, that's the kind of, there is good people, but most of them are real assholes. Some beautiful work. Some really, really beautiful work tonight. Some excellent stories, some complexity developing, right? And back to cars again, a couple of scenes with cars. Police! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we were that truthful in the um, workshops. 
I'm being honest here. I don't know if everyone was telling the truth 100% about their feelings or what really happens in Bangistan. And I think like if you release a documentary, you find a lot of Arab kids going, hey, we don't do that crap, or that's not true. Um, but then from there, we got a script. 